All right, so it is Miss Ruta here talking through video number six, negatively charged insulated strip brought close to the neutral pith ball. All right, so let's start with the insulated strip. The insulated strip has 10 atoms, so there are 10 blue protons. In order for the strip to have a charge of negative six, that means it needs six more electrons than protons. So this has a charge of negative six. The conductor is totally neutral, but has 10 protons and 10 electrons. Okay, so all of these atoms are neutral because they all have one proton and one electron. Four of these atoms are neutral because there's only four protons that have one electron. All these other protons have at least two protons or at least two electrons with that proton. Here is where the object was charged. And so that's why all those charged atoms are close to that star because this is an insulator. So charge is localized. It kind of stays in one place because charge can't move. Electrons can't move as freely in an insulator. Okay, now this is the before diagram, but then the strip is brought very close to the pith ball. What happens is that there's this big negative charge very close to the pith ball. This big negative charge being brought close to the pith ball makes this electron in the pith ball want to repel because electrons move when they are repelled by excess electrons. So this electron doesn't wanna be close, even though they're not touching, it doesn't wanna be close to these negative, this big negative charge. And so this electron is going to move to the other side. So it moves from the left to the right side of the pith ball, leaving an exposed proton. And so this electron definitely doesn't want to be close to the charge either. And so this one does the same thing where it's going to move and attach to a, an atom on the right side of the pith ball, leaving behind an exposed proton. And maybe this one does too. This one is going to leave and attach to the other side of the pith ball. So here we're noticing a positive charge on the pith ball that is close to the negative charge of the strip. But we're also noticing a negative charge on the right. So electrons in the pith ball transferred from the left to the right side. They did not leave the pith ball. They didn't go from the pith ball to the strip. They just moved within the pith ball itself. So because no electrons left or, or went to the pith ball, the pith ball remains neutral. It still has 10 protons and it still has 10 electrons. So it remains neutral. However, this side is positively charged because electrons moved from it. So this positive side of the pith ball is attracted to the negative strip. And so to answer the claim, when the insulated strip is brought near to the pith ball, they attract because this side is positive, the strip is negative, and opposites attract.